I am in a place called Hananki, and I'm here today to test this new camera and lens. Well, it's not new. Uh, I've had the camera for a while. <clears throat> uh, this is Hananki, and Hananki is Sanawa people uh, ruins up in the cliffs here. They're cliff dwellings. So we're going to go check those out today, but my real purpose is to test out this camera and lens. I've had this camera for a while. It's a black magic pocket cinema camera and I haven't really used it. And I just bought a lens. It's a Lumix or Panasonic uh, 14 to 42. It was super cheap. I think I got it for under $150 used. So it's supposed to have optical image stabilization. And the camera has absolutely no stabilization at all. So I'm just curious, not only how this camera looks, but like if it's even remotely possible to vlog with it. <laughs> so yeah, here we are at Hananki. <laughs> the Sanawa people are absolutely fascinating. And I love all these ruins. I love visiting them. And I'm going to be very, very interested to see what this place looks like on this camera. Because honestly, I have no idea if I'm even in focus. <laughs> but this is a wonderful place and I can't wait to show it to you. I've been here before, so... And I actually have a video coming up that I shot with my old camera, my old S120 and my, and my phone. So yeah, we'll see what this looks like, how stable it is. <laughs> Oh my gosh, this place is so cool. Wow, you can see the fingerprints or the finger marks of the people who made this place. And you know, these uh, fingerprints, they're probably 800 years old, anywhere between seven and 800 years old. How amazing is that? A, a fingerprint from seven or 800 years ago is still here today.
So this is such an amazing place. There's a whole bunch of both petroglyphs and pictographs, and they're literally like you just keep looking and you keep finding another one and another one. Uh, a petroglyph is when they actually scrape into the rock. They'll scrape the uh, tarnish that is on the outside of the rock to create an image. And a pictograph is where they paint on the rock and they'll paint well they have all sorts of different paints some of them are white and some red some black uh, some contain like animal fats and just all sorts of stuff i don't know the absolute details of all of them but it's so amazing and of course sadly there are also uh, some tags some graffiti uh, but that graffiti is, most of it, to my knowledge, is from like, you know, 75 to 100 years ago, so. All right, well, I think I've gotten as much as I can possibly get today. This is supposed to be a really short test. Um, so yeah, everything is new here. Testing out the camera, testing out this lens, which is supposed to have its own stabilization, so we'll see how well that works. We'll see how well my memory card works, because I'm using a new memory card that was not on the approved list. And the reason I'm using this card is because SanDisk apparently changed their firmware, and this Blackmagic camera no longer recognizes it. So the only approved memory cards don't work unless you can find an old one that's like a year or two years old, which I don't have. So, yep, testing out a new card. All right, let's shut this baby down. Well, it's been about two weeks since I filmed that segment right there. And I have learned so much. Oh my gosh, I've learned a tremendous amount. And yeah, I'm just really excited. Uh, there were some really bad shots in that one and it's because there was two huge lessons I learned from filming that. Uh, one was, uh, how to properly set the color temperature or the white balance temperature. Uh, I had read a bunch of stuff online, but I hadn't actually taken any notes. So now I actually put some notes in my in my uh, phone. And so, yeah, w one thing that I learned, you absolutely have to have an ND filter if you're filming outside. And so I have bought an ND filter and another thing I learned was a 14 millimeter lens on this camera is not wide enough to film yourself uh, if you're holding the camera. So I bought another lens. <laughs> I bought, it's a very inexpensive lens. It was a $140 SLR Magic eight millimeter lens. It's a rectilinear lens, oh my gosh. I hope this doesn't get demonetized because I said rectilinear. Anyway, yeah, so I'm really excited to use this camera. Um, one of my goals this year is actually to film a documentary. Not a long one, just a short one, like maybe 20 to 30 minutes or something. I already have like, you know, uh, a subject and some of the people I wanted to film in it. It's also, of course, going to include me. Uh, but yeah. Anyway, uh, uh, this is what this lens looks like. I'm showing you this with my old camera. 
uh, and this is kind of one of those things why I love this camera so much is just the look you can get from it it's a le this lens is actually meant for drones <laughs> it's for professional drones like really nice drones uh, so <laughs> It's kind of a funny looking lens, especially when I put a big fat ND filter on it so that it won't, um, you know, in any way get into the picture because the picture is so wide. But yeah, I can't wait to uh, shoot a whole bunch more with this. Uh, well, here's another test really quick. Here's what it looks like when a cloud comes over while you're filming. Uh, yeah, so this particular camera was never meant for vlogging. It was meant to be uh, in a studio with fixed lighting and fixed, you know, sound stuff. It's meant um, to have a camera operator all the time. It doesn't have continuous autofocus or continuous, like, uh, light adjustment for the aperture. You set it and then that's it. So with a really wide angle lens uh, that you can set to infinity basically anywhere from about a foot to infinity should be in focus and that's why i got this lens was not only is it super wide but hopefully yeah everything is in focus when i'm filming myself when i'm behind the camera of course i can do what i need to do but um all right uh, yeah, I think I'm going to sign out. Let's just sign out and do this. <laughs>